welcome to Money Control. This is Shraddha Sharma and you're watching Editor's Take. In a surprise move, the Monetary Policy Committee has decided to keep the repo rate unchanged. Let's get more details on that with Money Control's Ravi Krishnan. Hi Ravi, welcome to the show. Hi. So the move was quite a shock, wasn't it? Well, the consensus was that, uh, you know, the Monetary Policy Committee will reduce rates by around uh, 25 basis points. I mean, September quarter GDP had fallen to 4.5%, which was uh, a six-year low. Also, if you look at the monetary policy statement, uh, uh, you know, the RBA has spared its uh, GDP estimates by 1.1 percentage points. Right. If you look at high-frequency indicators, they are also biased towards a continuing slowdown. And an RBA survey has also indicated that in Q4, there is only going to be a marginal pickup. So, as you said, there was a 25 basis point expected rate, but they decided to pause. Why was that? Well, I can think of three to four reasons. See, one, it seems, uh, uh, you know, uh, they are concerned about inflation. Uh, so, headline consumer price inflation, it rose to a 16-month high of 4.62%. Uh, Economists are predicting that it will top 5% over the next couple of months also. Right. If you look at uh, RBI's own uh, uh, CPI uh, inflation projections, it is expected to be, it can go up to as high as 5.1% in the second half of the current fiscal. So clearly they are worried about inflation. Also there seems to be some concern about the fiscal deficit, although they have not explicitly stated as much. They have said that they will look to the union budget, uh, you know, for further insights on government action. Also, the MPC believes that transmission will improve. Well, there is some evidence of transmission uh, improving, you know, in the last two months. Uh, now that retail loans have been linked to external benchmarks, they expect transmission will also pick up. And another reason I can think of is possibly they need to keep some space, you know, for further rate cuts in case there, are, there is a global shock, etc. But all these factors, you know, when we consider all of them, still, you know, the decision is a little bit puzzling I would say, uh, there is a little bit of inconsistency in their messaging because so far, uh, you know, for the past few months they have been talking about, you know, slowing growth all along and now suddenly you are saying that, you know, okay, let's go back to focusing on inflation primarily. So as you said, the decision is quite puzzling but in case they have actually cut the rates, do you think it would have helped? Well, I don't think so. I mean, let's assume for an instant that, you know, they had cut rates by 50 basis points or even the transmission has improved tremendously. Uh, will it will it increase bank lending? I'm not so sure because currently there is a crisis of confidence in the economy. There is a trust deficit between banks and NBFCs. There is almost two to two and a half lakh crore of uh, rupees of liquidity which is sloshing around in the system, but banks are not lending. Why? Because there is a trust deficit. So as we have been saying earlier also, you know, the RBI institutes a, a formal asset quality review that could possibly declog the uh, financial system and, you know, get credit flow moving again. But that is not the only problem. Ultimately, it's also a problem of, uh, you know, low demand. Why will consumers borrow? Consumer confidence is also very low. People are not sure, you know, if they will still retain their jobs. And also remember that households had run down their savings in the last five to six years. They are highly leveraged. So when you put all these factors together, even if roads, uh, even if rates go down further, there is no guarantee that you know households will borrow. So I would think that the way out of this is, uh, uh, you know, for the government to put more money in, in, in the hands of the people. And overall, if you if you look at the the the, our, the monetary policy committee's rate decision, it's also an acknowledgement that you know monetary policy is a blunt instrument, and it is important at the current juncture. All right, thank you, Ravi, for joining us with those insights. That's all for today's episode of Editor's Take. For more news, views and updates, stay logged on to moneycontrol.com. Thanks for watching.